many troops died under Sorry. Donald Trump's last 18 months? Zero American service members were killed over the last 18 months. And under Joe Biden, the withdrawal was reckless and terrible, and you saw what happened. That's true, but he didn't end the war. He tried to. Well, so they were going to be checking out. Sorry, dude, you're wrong. This is by Charlie Skirk. Guys, what do you think this is going to be about, guys? I really feel Charlie Skirk is. He's wise. And I look up to men like this that stand for the truth and stand for the Bible. And I actually love people that actually believe in the truth. And for me, I believe the Bible is true. And I love seeing people like him, Jordan Peterson, like people who talk about the truth and about religion. But guys, let's get straight into this. Firstly, as a liberal, I would like to say I'm shaking right now and I'm coming here with respect because I do not want to end up on a highlight reel. And I also am intimidated as I think you are very beautiful. It is my belief, correct me if I'm wrong, that you are not completely against immigration as long as the people coming here share the values present in this country. That being said, don't you believe we have a duty to take in Muslim refugees who oftentimes have different values than ours? as we have directly or indirectly destabilized dozens of Muslim countries from Iraq and Iran by invading them True. and pushing our values down their throats, democracy, True. which has proven to be a failure in other countries. Uh, no, we don't have an obligation to take them in. Thank you. Okay. But, but hold on, I want to just try to drill in on something that, that bothers you and it should, which is our reckless foreign policy agenda. So then would you entertain voting for Trump who started no new wars for four years of his presidency? But he continued like the Afghanistan war. No, he tried to end it. He did everything he could to actually troops were getting out. You know how many troops died under Sorry. Donald Trump's last 18 months? Zero American service members were killed over the last 18 months. And under Joe Biden, the withdrawal was reckless and terrible, and you saw what happened. That's true, but he didn't end the war. He tried to. Well, well, fair enough. But the way that Biden ended, I don't think, is something we should ever praise, right? It's like yeah. saying you got to get an appendix removed, you take out a pocket knife, and you just start like... I yeah. mean, it was one of the most catastrophic, humiliating withdrawals and moments in American history. But so I, I will just I, I'm, I'm curious, though, because with Biden, we have new wars everywhere. Right. Mm -hmm. We're dropping bombs in Yemen. We're dropping bombs in Syria. You know, we're giving hundred billion dollars just this last time to Ukraine versus Russia. We have Israel Hamas. So does does the actual concrete data that shows that Trump was a peacemaker and kept stability abroad? Is that persuasive to you? With Ukraine, I feel like the Ukraine war is justified. I feel like war is not always justified, and I think you agree with that, because I think you support what Israel is doing in Gaza right now. But I feel like the world is going down, and American influence is leaving, and we have a right, and we must uh, uh, aid Ukraine. Okay, yeah, I mean, I disagree with that. Um, it took a lot of courage for you to get up to this mic. I, I appreciate, appreciate it. it. We have clarity, but not agreement. I hope you vote for Trump. Thank you. Thank you. Well. I really don't like talking about the Ukraine. I, I don't like it. I, I really don't say much about it because I, honestly, if I say something, some people are going to be triggered because my life, I'm always supporting the people the media isn't supporting because I actually had a chat with a Ukraine friend of mine and like, when she explained the war for me and she really didn't blame Russia. And that was when I... She was there, like the war was there, and she didn't blame Russia about what happened. And she was like, "Nah, they're actually fighting for their people." And more like, I I get it, but like it's still heartbreaking. Won't lie, like war is heartbreaking. I really don't believe that the right way to go is to go to war because people are going to be killing themselves, and they really don't have issue with themselves. It's just heartbreaking. You seeing a man with this color this cloth you just want to kill him because you were told so and it's 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 sad based on the fact that two men had a disagreement and allowing thousands of people died if not yeah tens of thousands if not hundreds it, it's really heartbreaking but for me i honestly believe that we should vote for donald trump if you don't like it leave my channel i'm begging you but i think we should vote for him because i honestly believe that he's a man who is willing to give America is hot, his soul, and everything he stands for. Like, someone that knows God and someone that wants to impact, like, show his impact in America's history. And this is something I appreciate about him. But guys, don't want to think about this. Thank you to like, share, subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time, guys. Bless.